going to jump into LG's email client here. Uh, you can use Pop, IMAP, or Exchange accounts. Uh, with Exchange, you can pull down contacts, calendar appointments, and things like that. Right now, we're looking at uh, a Gmail account I have configured. You can see I can uh, also switch to an AIM account, and better yet, a combined view. And you can see how the different colors there show which uh, account the message is coming from. Formatted text, see colors, italics, different font sizes, underlines, things like that. Full HTML email support, multi touch zooming. Naturally, everything works in landscape mode as well. Just long press on a message to get some options to it, such as setting it as unread. Pretty nice email client in general. Let's take a look at the home screen, see if we can find a nice email widget to go with it. And we have a couple to choose from. And there it is. You can see the messages we just looked at. And there's that test I just marked as unread again. Also notice up here in the top I have a new Gmail notification. Same Gmail account. So again you can see the how it looks in standard Gmail. No multi-touch zooming in the Gmail client though, but you do have things like uh, Priority Inbox and other more advanced features like that that are found only in the Gmail client. Let's pull up the browser. Uh, I'm going to go to say USA Today. This is their mobile site. Pull up a different window. I already have some preloaded. You can see there's mobileburn.com. An ad coming up. Flash ads. Uh, built in Flash 10.2 support here. Everything works pretty well. Multi touch zooming, of course. There's also uh, double tap intelligent zooming. Still loading the page though. There we go. landscape view and you can see we should be able to play the embedded YouTube video and our lovely new intro go to the top you'll be able to get to the bookmarks here you can see how they're set you can add a new bookmark uh, look at your most visited history and all that kind of stuff Overall, very good browsing experience. Um, speedy, very colorful, um, responsive, and you know, full flash support and a nice four-inch display as well. I've got the camera pulled up so you can see how it works. Quick to focus. A little bit slower to take the actual photo. Pull up the controls right here along the left hand edge you can see that focusing mode image size you know 5 megapixel bunch of different settings turn on geolocation switch to video mode and we have access to 720p HD video here it's not pre-focusing or anything though it appears to be uh, somewhat fixed focus there we go it's focusing now which is better than it was doing with the uh, LG Optimus 2X. So that's nice and crisp there. So if I move around and look, yep, it's refocusing. Much nicer than on the Optimus 2X. Also gives you a chance to see the uh, viewing angle of the Nova display. It's really quite impressive. We'll stop that and then we can play it back. Good frame rate as well. 
standard gallery application here you can see some of the stuff was pulled in album art uh, these are things that were pulled in from a Picasso account which is kinda handy There's also some gesture controls for uh, using within the gallery application just like there is for music and a couple other different apps and while on the subject here is you can see some of the controls you know cursor control rearranging things on the home screen music controls video controls accepting calls by shaking and holding the G button a lot of different things here I'm going to demonstrate the software keyboard by using this social networking widget of course we can do landscape as well and I can check which services I want to go out on. It's going to go to Facebook and Twitter both. I'll just post that. And there you can see it was updated. In other apps like this uh, memo widget or the text messaging app you can get prediction as well and auto correction. I'll misspell prediction here. and it still corrected it quite easily. N-O-R-E will get fixed to more. I found the keyboard to work quite well actually. I'm a little bit surprised because some other LG keyboards have been pretty weak. Uh, this one was pretty good right out of the, right out of the um, box except I did have to turn on autocorrect and predictive words. now my notes updated there on the home screen. And just because I forgot to show it to you before, watch the uh, cursor control. Tap on the phone to move the cursor, or basically banging the cursor around the screen. Kind of handy. As promised, a side-by-side -side comparison between the Google Nexus S with the Samsung Super AMOLED display and the Optimus Black with the Nova display. You can see the Nova display in the right is definitely brighter. Uh, colors are a little bit more accurate too. A little bit of a blue cast here on the Samsung display. You see that again here, um, brighter colors and definitely um, better looking. Where you do notice the uh, Samsung getting a bit of an edge is when it comes to color saturation, like these Easter eggs down at the bottom. They definitely look nicer on the Samsung Super AMOLED display, but fine detail and overall brightness is so much better. If you look at the hair detail on the displays, much, much nicer on the Nova display. Overall, um, four out of four photos look better with the Nova display than they do with the Samsung Super AMOLED and that's really impressive because I've been a really big fan of uh, the Super AMOLED displays for a long time so LG has done a really good job with Nova. And lastly I'm going to show off the uh, home screen weather and clock widget powered by AccuWeather. I'm in uh, Marco Island, Florida right now. You can see we've got a pretty cool graphed view of uh, current conditions. There's also a 15 day forecast as well. So that's my quick look at the very light, slim, and attractive LG Optimus Black with the uh, brand new wide VGA Nova display. Really fantastic little phone, a lot of features, um, and just in a really small package. And of course it has all the apps, you know, Google Maps, Search, Places, everything like that, um, and access to, you know, over 150,000 different apps in the Android market. So really a nice little device. Um, going to be hitting some of the uh, global markets soon. Not sure if we're going to see a version of this in the US or not, hopefully. There again, you have it. CLG Optimus Black. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.